Thanks for checking out this video. So this is basically my holiday haul video, which I think I'm actually going to end up calling it that. Um, so for the holidays, I actually did gift exchange, like a name exchange thing with my wife's side of the family. So I ended up just putting on my list of things I wanted, just Blu-rays. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. And I told my wife for what, you know, she and I exchanged, I just want Blu-rays because... I mean, during these pandemic times, I've pretty much just been watching movies, and I found plenty of films that I really enjoy and would like to own, as well as films that I haven't seen. One, A few of them are actually ones I haven't seen before that I really want to check out, because I've heard good things. So, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, by the way, just a disclaimer on it, it was a socially distanced um, holiday celebration, we basically just drove up and dropped off gifts and, you know, opened them over a Zoom, so that's kind of how we did things, so we were very responsible with it, like, hopefully everyone was. Anyway, the first film that I got, I haven't actually seen this one, and I've been very interested in it, because I've heard good things, and it sounds and looks interesting to me, and that's April Fool's Day, so... Very interested to get into this one. When I do, I will obviously have a review of it up on my channel. Uh, probably sometime January, February-ish. Um, so yeah, so look for forward to this. And go ahead and put some comments down there. Have you seen April Fool's Day? No spoilers, but tell me, what are your thoughts? Good, bad, what do you think? You think I'm going to like it? You think I'm not going to like it? Just curious. But I will be checking it out regardless because obviously I own it now. So was excited to get that. Also excited to get this, and some people may be surprised that I didn't already own this film. I'm kind of surprised I didn't already own it, because it is one of the best uh, werewolf films out there. Probably top five, in my opinion, and that is Ginger Snaps. Um, I've seen this movie a decent amount of times. I did a review for it this, I think it was this year, it was either this year or last year, so there is a review for it on my channel at the moment. Um Awesome, awesome, awesome werewolf film. If you have not seen this, just watch it, especially if you like werewolves. Uh, really well done. Great thematic stuff going on in this film. Good subtext. Love it. I'm very excited to have it now so I can just grab it whenever. And that goes uh, kind of speaks to one of the other main reasons I'm focusing so much on getting physical media now, which is we're kind of getting to a point where streaming is becoming so popular that uh, some of these things may be hard to get your hands on. Eventually, we might get to a point where, you know, Blu-ray is not as available. Uh, the other thing is there are, you know, reissues and initial issue issuing of Blu-rays and DVDs and things like that that go out of print. And then how are you going to get a hold of it? And if it's not streaming on a service, then how can you see that particular film that you're really looking for? So for me, when I find films that I really, really dig... That's why I'm going to be buying them and making sure I have them on hand so I can watch them. So yeah, uh, the next one is a film I just watched eh, within the past month or so because I've been on my big giallo kick, my Italian giallo kick. Uh, if you don't know about that, you need to watch giallo. Shudder at the moment has a lot, and including this film in particular, and that is The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. This was obtained from Severin Films, um who put it out, and this is a really good uh, giallo film that I hadn't seen before, done by Sergio Martino. Um, crazy amount of twists at the end of this. I'm not going to spoil anything, but if you like giallo and you have not seen The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward, you need to. Also, uh, having seen this one and uh, The Case of the Bloody Iris and All the Colors of the Dark, which I also have reviews for on my channel, um, I got a thing for Edwige Fenech. That That's her. Uh, really got a thing for Edwish Fennec now. Uh, I don't get things for actresses typically, but there's something about her. There's, It's just, there's something. I don't know. There's a certain charm when she's on camera. But anyway, um, very excited to have this on hand to rewatch it. Also, if you are into Giallo, I have an entire playlist on my channel of it, uh, Giallo reviews. By the end of January, there should be about 25... Uh, giallo reviews in that playlist so yeah uh so the next one this is a film that whenever i talk to someone who's seen it they always say they love it but i don't hear people talk about it enough and that is the autopsy of jane doe if you have not seen this film and you're a horror fan this is a must in my opinion the atmosphere that's created with this film is amazing the pacing of it is amazing 
just the gradual unveiling of in like bits of knowledge that you need for the overall story for this film and then the reveal of what the overall story is for this film awesome uh emil hirsch brian cox super great in this film it's a wonderful film to watch i love it every time when i when i unwrap this i was like looking at this right now it just makes me want to pop it in and watch it immediately and holding it up right now makes me want to go watch it now so i actually might do that uh love that film Glad it's in my collection now. Now, uh, th those were all from my wife's family. Thank you very much, Emily uh, Bowling and Dawn Bowling in particular. Oh, and also Dawn, my mother-in-law, has also gotten me a gift card for uh, Diabolic DVD, which if you've been watching my channel, you know I love to purchase from Diabolic DVD. So once they reopen everything in the new year on their site... I'm going to be hitting some stuff up, and obviously, I'll have a haul video for that, so look forward to that. So, my wife got me two collections of films, um, excited about both of them for different reasons. So, the first one, if you've been paying attention to my uh, channel, you know that since the pandemic happened, there have been certain films that I've really wanted to dig into, and one of those was the Tremor films. So, I went through with my wife and watched all seven of the Tremors films, and watch the TV series, and she got me the complete Blu-ray seven-movie collection of Tremors, and yes, that means it does include Tremors Shrieker Island, which just came out this October, which is definitely worth watching. If you like any Tremors films, you will probably like Shrieker Island. It's, it is well done. I really enjoyed it. So I'm very excited to have all of the Tremors films because I see in my kind of near future sitting down and watching through all of them Although, I'm not going to be that excited when I get to number four, back to the beginning, because, or the legend begins, because that one sucks. That's the worst. And also, uh, A Cold Day in Hell, number, number six, that is also not good. But other than that, I love them all. And I am planning on getting, spoiler for a, a future haul video, I have ordered the TV series on DVD, because it's not on Blu-ray. They never released it that way. They should have. So very excited about this. Very glad. And then the last thing is a big one. Um, and this one was inspired by another YouTuber, Christina Arntz, who's also a actress who's been in horror films. And she's a really cool person. You should definitely check out her YouTube channel. She is awesome. She has really good videos. And she's a really open person. That's one of the great things I love about her channel is how forthcoming she is with, um, you know, struggles in her life and all sorts of stuff. She's she's pretty awesome so check it out her last name is a-r-n-t-z christina arntz and it's christina with a k so she had gotten this collection of films and that gave me the idea to give my wife the idea to get it for me for christmas so she did and i'm very excited and that is the universal classic monsters 30 film collection yeah it looks huge now, my main reason for wanting this was kind of what, you know, Christina had said when, when she had revealed that she got the same thing, which is, I've not seen any of these films. And this is horror history. Like, this is the foundation for a lot of horror characters and horror in general. So I just feel like it's important for me to go back and make sure I've finally seen this so that in the future I can be watching a film and say, hey, um, I see a parallel from one of these films. I see where we went from this to this over time. I love getting into kind of the history of horror and horror films and seeing all the influences in films over time. So I think this will help greatly with that. It's also really cool because it's broken down into uh, different creatures. You know, you have Phantom of the Opera, Creature from the Black Lagoon, which I'm most interested in, Dracula, The Wolfman, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, and Frankenstein. Um, Really, really cool. Uh, so one of the other things, I said I'm really interested in the Creature from the Black Lagoon stuff, but I'm also very interested in the Abbott and Costello meet whoever films. I mean, they have uh, they have them meeting the Mummy, uh, the Invisible Man, and Frankenstein. I'm just very interested to find out what the fusion of comedy and horror was like back then because these films range from 1931, which was the original Dracula, all the way to the 1956, The Creature Walks Among Us. So I haven't seen many films from that time period. I think the only one I've really seen is White Zombie, which is definitely worth watching in my opinion. 
Uh, oh, Black was Black Sabbath during that time period? Black Sabbath may have been as well. Or, I'm sorry, Black Sunday. Black Sunday. Both Mario Bava films. I get them confused from time to time. But very, 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 very excited for this. Um, I will be doing reviews for this as I go through it. Uh, it, it won't be all at once, I don't think. I'm not going to take, like, one month and, and work all the way through it and do reviews. I'm going to take my time probably more with it because I'll just, you know, I'll just sprinkle them maybe throughout next year. But one thing I want in the comments is if, if people have seen a decent amount of the Universal Monster films, what are your favorites? Like, what ones should I really be looking forward to? What ones do you think I'm really going to enjoy? The one I've heard the most about from people is The Bride of Frankenstein. That is the one that so many people say, oh, it's, it's crazy, but it's awesome. So I'm already excited about that one, in addition to The Creature from the Black Lagoon and the Abbott and Costello ones, but... Get me excited. Help me get more excited. What other ones? But uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, awesome haul. I, I feel very fortunate that I was able to, you know, do some sort of exchange, celebrate in some way during this pandemic situation. And also I'm fortunate that, you know, I'm not someone who's out of work. I still have the job that I had had prior. So I, I feel for anyone who um, is in a worse situation. So I am very sorry for that. So hopefully me doing this video isn't presenting itself as me kind of flaunting what some people don't have. Uh, I'm just kind of doing it for entertainment value. I know some people like to know what other people are buying and watching and stuff like that. So don't take it the wrong way. But uh, regardless, I hope everyone's doing well. Um, let's talk in the comments. Uh, I do appreciate everyone checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.